Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob Hager, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the difference between plastic and metal pedals. So, um, I just want to kind of go over the differences, weigh the pros and cons, and uh, so if you're on the fence about um, one or the other, this might help you decide which one you want to go with. So, a few main differences between plastic and metal pedals. Your typical plastic pedals are going to have unsealed bearings. These are like your cheap pedals, something under 25, 30 bucks. Um, and then most of your higher end metal pedals will have a sealed bearing in it. Uh, they probably don't feel any smoother while riding, but they just don't wear down as much, so you won't blow out your bearings as fast. And then there's a third type that doesn't have bearings at all, but those are usually plastic pedals. Now they do make plastic pedals that have a sealed bearing in them. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive, talking like 50, $60 range. And then you have your pedals that are plastic with metal pins in them and those vary depending on what bearings and stuff are in them. So, we'll go over a few of the pros and cons. Let's talk about the plastic pedals first of all. First con is most plastic pedals are gonna have an unsealed bearing. Like I said, you can get them with a sealed bearing, but for your basic plastic pedal. Another con of the plastic pedal is it's weaker than the metal pedal, wears out a little bit faster. Um, the pins eventually get shaved down when you're grinding on them and they don't grip nearly as well as a metal pedal. Um, you can get ones that have uh, pretty sharp pins, but those plastic pins get worn down really fast, and then they're no longer that grippy. But pros of the plastic pedals is, one, they're super inexpensive, you know, if you're getting the one with the, without the sealed bearing, but even with the sealed bearing, they're still cheaper than a full metal pedal. Another pro is they're light. Um, just having this plastic piece is a lot lighter than a metal pedal. And another pro is they come in all sorts of cool, crazy colors. Another pro of the plastic pedal is you're not going to rip your jeans or shins nearly as much as with a metal pedal since they're not as sharp. You're not gonna get hurt as bad on these if you get a shinner. So, pros and cons of the metal pedal. Cons first is they are expensive. These are $100 pedals, these ones here. That's not cheap. Another con is they definitely will rip up your jeans and they will 100% put you in the hospital. These will easily rip through your shin. Unfortunately, that's just the price you pay wear shin guards if you're riding metal pedals. Another con is they're heavy. I mean, not super heavy, but definitely heavier than a plastic pedal. And some of the pros of the metal pedals are they are definitely a lot stronger. Just having metal instead of plastic, it's obvious. Um, the pins are going to grip a lot better than plastic pins. So if you don't want your feet coming off of the pedals, you don't want to slip off, uh, metal pedals are definitely the way to go. Um, they do have replacement pins for these. So once these pins wear down, which they don't wear down that fast, but when they do, you can replace them. So that's another pro is that most of them have replacement pins available. So, and then you have your pedal that is in between the two, which is a plastic body with metal pins. So cons of that is it's still a plastic pedal, so it's still a little bit weaker. They are kind of a little bit pricier than a regular plastic pedal, but then the pros to those are you can replace the pins, so they won't wear down nearly as fast as a plastic pin pedal. They are less expensive than a full metal pedal, and they grip just as well as a full metal pedal. Really, it just depends on what you're gonna be riding, where you're gonna be riding, um, a lot of park riders want something with a metal pin so their feet don't slip off. And street guys uh, like the plastic pedals. Um, sometimes you'll see them where they take the metal pins out of their pedal and flip them so that one side is smooth and that would be the side they grind on. And the side with the pins on top, obviously that's where they stand. There are strong plastic pedals, don't get me wrong. But they're also gonna be heavier because it's gonna be thicker material, it's gonna be a thicker spindle. Plastic pedals are super cheap, and I think that's why a lot of people ride plastic pedals is because you can just keep replacing them because they're, you know, between $15 and $30 for a, pair of, for a pair of pedals, as opposed to these, which are $100, or pedals that are even more than this. And a lot of guys don't ride shin guards, and these metal pin pedals are very dangerous when you're riding without pads on. So if, if you're going to be falling a lot having plastic pedals, um, even just a fall where you didn't slip a pedal, a fall where you just fell and your pedal caught your leg or something. Um, plastic pedals are definitely going to be friendlier to you. So real quick, I'd like to take a break to thank my sponsors. 
I personally ride metal pedals right now. These are actually the pedals off of my bike. I like them a lot. I don't ever have to worry about breaking a pedal, I don't think. Um, they grip really well. They are a little bit heavier. That's the only thing I don't like. I was riding the Haro SD pedals before, and these are really nice. They have a decent grip to them. It's a sealed pedal. These are pretty strong. Um, they didn't wear out too fast, but I wasn't riding them with pegs, so that obviously makes a big difference. Um, and then one thing to consider when buying pedals is these two are sealed um, and they don't have a spot for a, a 15 or for a pedal wrench. They only have a six millimeter Allen key on the end there. So that's also something to consider if you don't take care of your bike really well. And it's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you just like to, you know, throw your bike around, you might get some rust in these areas. These are going to be a lot harder to get off, you know, if you ever need to switch them because you don't have, because it's just a six millimeter Allen. So if you're curious to what website this is behind me, with this beautiful carousel of photos. This is thehagerco.com. Go get yourself some merch, support your boy. Yeah, link will be in the description, or you can just type thehagerco.com. Yeah, so that's the pros and cons to plastic and metal pedals. Um, really, there's no one better than the other. It's just personal preference. I don't think one or the other is better. I've rode them both personally right now. I like the metal pedals just because I. it's gonna help me with tricks being able to not slip off the pedals all the time. And I always ride with shin guards and knee pads. So the metal pins, I have no problem with. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the site. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That'll be in the link below or on the screen now. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, click the subscribe button. And if you have any other suggestions, comment them below. Um, any other review videos or like this versus that video that you want me to do, let me know. Thanks for watching.